Hi guys, we had a video here a while back where we made our uh, solar array stand and uh, it's time to start putting that in the ground here on the mountain. Alright, so here's the main pole that we're going to mount everything onto, and uh, we need to get that into the ground a couple of feet. Okay, it's really been kind of warm out here, so we got a fire extinguisher on site and some water. And I started uh, drilling the hole, and uh, it takes a couple of three minutes to get the bit down through the ground, so it appears that I uh, found some solid rock here, but. Uh, Little generator's been powering this uh, pretty good size hammer drill, and uh, once we get the pole in, then we can get our uh, array set back up. fractured rock and there is roots growing in between it but uh, it is in pretty solid plates in here so it's almost like drilling solid rock well got about eight inches into the ground so far uh, drilling but now the rocks not really fracturing too much so it looks like it's time to get serious on this thing okay so we got a 68 pound electric jackhammer here Okay, so here's what it takes to get uh, a two-foot hole dug into uh, our ground here. And it turned out being solid rock pretty much down. Um, some of it was busted up, but it's pretty, pretty solid for the most part. Did manage to get the jackhammer stuck in the ground at one point so we had to go in sideways and uh, get the bit loosened up before it would pull out so there's a valuable lesson don't sink your hours. bit too far
this is easy. I thought it was going to be, oh, maybe you're holding it. Where do you want to put it? Just on the post. <laughs> okay, now you can ratchet it. We showed this in our other video. These are the nuts that you use with uh, this Unistrut or Super Strut. And so we're going to put a nut underneath of this crossbar here so we have a way to bolt the parts together. And these nuts just simply press down inside of the channel. And then you turn them 90 degrees. And they lock into place like that. It's kind of difficult to get a socket down in here. Um, traded the bolts out for socket head screws so it can reach down inside with just a Allen type key. Okay, we got to tighten up this screw here, and it's uh, 
socket head screw. I don't have a uh, tool that size, so here's a little tip for you. Just use a bolt that fits inside of the socket. Jam a nut up against it. That fits in there. Then you can turn it with a regular wrench. Since these things are right about forehead level um, and have sharp edges on them, we figured it probably was a good investment to go ahead and get some of these plastic caps that are made to fit into the strut. Still kind of pointy, but I guess that's better than hitting your head into a sharp metal bracket. That hole is way off. Well, you'll have to make it work. So that's the story on this one so far. It'll be kind of fun to see everything hooked up and working. Be sure to uh, subscribe, uh, hit the notification, you know, all that stuff. Um, keep you in the loop and uh, there's a lot more to come. Thanks for watching.